morning everybody welcome back uh, today I'm going to do a homemaking type video inside um, the little house Jonathan's at work and I have already walked the dogs and fed the dogs gave Luna a real good brushing again this morning I've been brushing her every morning because she's just shedding so bad right now um, so I've got all that taken care of uh, I still need to wash a few dishes and I want to take some eggs out to bring to room temperature I want to do some boiled eggs um, after a while once they've come up to room temperature and I need to go back into the back and change the sheets and make the bed back there so I'm gonna bring you along um, it is dark back there so and it's very close quarters so we're going to do the best that we can and hopefully you can get a little bit of an idea of what it's like to live and home make in this little house okay oh again I forgot <laughs> I forgot something uh, I'm going to attempt to do a voiceover on this video so I'm not going to be talking um, while I'm doing the dishes and, and changing the sheets and making the bed. So, just heads up. Hope it goes good. Wish me luck. See you in a bit. I was really struggling with the voiceover here. I tried multiple times and it was just giving me a fit. Uh, but perseverance, I think I did succeed after all. Okay, here I have just put some rice away that I'd cooked earlier in the morning while it was still cool in the house. I try not to cook right now in the house once it gets over in the daytime because it just gets so hot. It's it's a little gas stove and um, it just gets super hot in there. And so if I'm going to cook anything or use the stove, I try to do it earlier in the morning while while it's still cool. Here you see me um, pulling out my dish drainer, and yes, I use uh, tin cans that I've washed out to uh, let my silverware drain in before I dry it and put it away. It works for me. If the can starts to rust or look bad, I'll just throw that one away and I'll switch out a new can for it. I like to clean out this little strainer that I have in my sink uh, before I get started and so that's what I'm doing now. Do you have one of these strainers in your sink? Does anybody else use those? I find that they really help to catch um, little bits of food and stuff that uh, might wind up in my dishwater. I always try to wash, wipe my dishes out before I even put them in the sink in the dishwater. But everybody doesn't do that, and I'm not going to call any names here. You can kind of think about it and take a wild guess. Right now, I'm using the uh, Dawn Platinum dish detergent. Um, I like it pretty good. It seems to do a pretty good job. I didn't have very many dishes, like I said, at, at all to do. So I didn't want to pull out the dish pan and, and run that. I just thought I'd just squirt a little bit of soap on it and just run a little bit of water and do them like that. I don't, I don't do this my dishes this way unless I just have just a very, very few to do. Um, and you saw me reaching, uh, bending over and, I uh, came out there with a, a dishcloth. I have a um, little plastic um, storage uh, unit there beside me. Uh, it's on wheels and it's got drawers in it. And that's where I have my my silverware, knives, forks, spoons, that type of thing. And then in the, in the top drawer and the drawer after that, that's where I have my other cooking utensils and other knives that I use for cutting and chopping food up. Um, spatulas and 
potato peelers, just, just your basic kitchen utensils are in there. And then down below that, I have just some random things for canning. Um, what else is in there? Uh, some funnels. Uh, I can't even remember what all's in that next drawer. Just a, it's a random drawer of stuff. And then there's another drawer under that one. And in that one, I have my hand towels, dish towels, drying towels, and my dish cloths and my um, clean dust cloths uh, in the next drawer. And the very bottom drawer, um, it's another bigger drawer, I have some storage baggies and a couple of drying mats, I think, um, some uh, plastic wrap, that type of thing is in that drawer. And so here I'm just uh, washing these dishes, <laughs> just mundane little um, tasks that we all have to do. Um, well, if you don't have a dishwasher, I guess you have to. Um, I don't mind washing dishes, honestly. Um, it's a quiet task. Uh, I do a lot of thinking a lot of times, talking to God, actually, when I'm doing dishes. I've always done that while I was standing at the sink washing dishes. A lot of times I'm talking to God um, about whatever's on my mind, just random things, whatever it may be. Um, it's one of my favorite times to talk to the Lord, I guess, when I'm standing there doing the dishes. Where's your favorite place and time to talk to God? Okay, so let's get this job done. Let's put some nice instrumental music on and finish this job up. This clip I'm just moving some eggs around from one carton to another and then I'm going to put these in the refrigerator and I'll take a dozen out of the refrigerator and leave them on the counter for a while to come up to room temperature I let my I like to let my eggs get to room temperature before I boil them um, does anybody else do that I just recently learned that to be honest this is a shame as old as I am and I haven't always known to do that uh, but, you know, it's better late than never to learn something new, right? And I should explain why uh, we do that for those who maybe don't know. Um, you put your eggs on the counter and let them come to room temperature before you boil them so that they don't crack um, due to the difference in the temperature. Okay, now I'm back in uh, my bedroom area and this is my bed. It's just a twin size bed. Um, Obviously, my husband and I both don't sleep back here together. Um, when he was on third shift, uh, it worked out great. Uh, he slept back here in the back. 
while I was up during the day. Um, he's now on first shift and has been for a little bit now. So right now, bless his heart, he sleeps on the couch. He was sleeping in the recliner, but I got a couch off of Wayfair and uh, so that he could stretch out and hopefully be a little bit more comfortable um, to sleep there. So he's on first shift now, if, if I haven't made that clear. And he used to work third. And uh, before he went to first shift, he actually worked second shift for a while. But anyway, uh, this is just the t temporary uh, situation. When we get into um, the big house, uh, I hope to be able to have a king-size bed back there in our bedroom and have room for us and the puppies. <laughs> I don't know about the husky, though. My goodness. Um, but uh, here, uh, back here in the bedroom, it, it's, again, very cramped like everywhere else in this little house. Uh, and there's, it's really dark. I'm sorry. Um, I've got the windows covered up to try to block out the sun to try to keep it as cool in here as I possibly can. Now, in the wintertime, I uncover them because I like light. I like windows and I like lots of light to be able to come in to side. Um, right here, uh, you see me um, folding some clothes. Um, there's a door right behind where those clothes are hanging, another door, and it's just kept locked. And there's a... Um, like a rod, a clothing rod that's going between um, a cabinet or upper cabinets and um, my husband's little closet. And so I don't dry my tops in the dryer and we hang them up on hangers and I just hang, hung them back there to let them dry. Uh, we've been getting a little bit of rain, thank God, we really needed it. And so we needed to dry them in the house. And so when that happens, I've got that rod there that I can hang them up on to dry. So um, I'm trying a new technique here of rolling them um, to see if I have a little bit more room in my drawer. I'm not sure um, I like this way of doing it. I'm just now trying it. So I'm going to have to give it a little bit of time, live with it for a little bit. And see if I prefer rolling them or folding them. I've always just folded my tops and, and stuffed them in there. Um, but I'm trying this rolling technique to see how I like it. Um, I'm having to move some things around so that I can get into the dresser drawer. Uh, it's very cluttered. <laughs> um, so I have to just move things to get to things and stack things here and move things there that's just the life that we live right now and have been dealing with for a while um, so but I hope that um, as you watch this you can kind of get a gist of you know what it is to um, make the bed and change the sheets in this situation also while you're watching this, you're probably going to hear a humming <laughs> in the background. That's um, the air conditioner unit. You see the cord going there on the left of the screen. Uh, but that's the air conditioning unit. And then I have a fan. Um, it's on a stand that is sitting in the hallway in front of the air conditioning unit to try to pull some of the cooler air up to the front of the trailer. So um, I'm sorry if that it bothers you um, but I needed to have that on again you know because well it's hot I love this quilt here I found that in a um, thrift store um, a few towns over from where I live at um, it's not there anymore and I was sad to see it go but they tore it down um, to make room for more roads wider roads and uh, I miss that place I got a really good deal on that little quilt. It does need just a little tiny bit of mending on one of the stars. Um, and I, hopefully I'll get that taken care of one of these days soon uh, before it, you know, comes apart anymore. Uh, but I do. I really like that old quilt. It doesn't match anything really that I have sheet-wise. Well, I do have some blue sheets that probably goes okay with. But I still, I use it. Um, you'll see... None of my stuff really matches or goes together a whole lot, but um, I just get what I like and that's what I use.
right now I'm trying to decide am I going to pull the mattress cover off and wash it this time or am I going to wait till the next time I change the sheets and I decide that I can wait till the next time I change the sheets to pull that off and put it in the wash. I don't have another one so I didn't have another one another mattress cover to put on the mattress while this one was being washed and I wanted to go ahead and get the bed made. is something that I'm really going to be looking forward to and that's being able to walk around the bed to make the bed and not have to climb onto the bed and pull up the corners of the mattress and fight to get the corner of the sheet down over the corner of the mattress and then crawl to the other side and I just want to be able to walk around the bed to make the bed. I'm getting too old for this y'all. I think I had mentioned that I wanted to have a king size bed in the in the big house and uh, if we can put a king size bed in there it's not going to leave a lot of room but I will be able to walk all the way around the bed to make the bed because <laughs> that's one one of the first things that um, Jonathan and I did was get the tape measure out and measure to see if we can fit a king size bed in there and one will fit but it will be mostly bed bed and closet that's what it'll be <laughs> That was a job. It makes me tired just watching it. Well, the hardest part is over with. Just getting that mattress uh, sheet on there. The fitted sheet. There we go. I couldn't think of fitted sheet. <laughs> but the hardest part was getting that fitted sheet on there. and So that's over with. Now just uh, get the flat sheet on. And then I'm just going to put the quilt back on top. And the pillows. And then it'll be done. I know I'm off camera right here. Um, what I'm doing is I'm actually, I am tucking in the bottom of the sheet underneath the mattress and tucking my corners in. I still make my bed correctly um, the way I was taught, uh, even though uh, it's very crowded and cramped and you can't see me, that's what I'm doing. I do love this quilt. Isn't it pretty? Well, let's go outside and pick some flowers. This is my dahlia and zinnia bed. Um, I don't have any dahlias to pick right now. The, they're full of blooms, but there's none of them open right now. So I'm picking zinnias to put in the kitchen this time. Okay, so now it's time to uh, boil the eggs. Um, I don't wash uh, my eggs before uh, I put them in the refrigerator. I just put them in there in the carton and put them in the refrigerator and then when I get ready to use them I wash them then. Um, they have a bloom on them when the chicken lays the egg and you don't want to wash that off. Um, 
you don't want to wash it off until um, you're ready to use them unless you're going to coat them with um, some oil um, I don't do that I just wash them before I use them and then I clean my egg cartons before I reuse them so I'm using my instant pot to cook the eggs and I just um, I put them on high pressure Okay, I put them on high pressure for two minutes, and then I let them cool down um, for 15 minutes. Then I take the lid off, and I put them in immediately in an ice bath to cool them, and then I just start uh, cracking them, and then I peel them. And the best part about using the Instant Pot is I don't have to put on the gas stove, and it keeps the house a whole lot cooler. Okay, right here, um, if you look at the um, light panel on the pot, it's counting down the minutes. Um, it's already done the two minutes, and it's counting down the low warm for 15 minutes. Well, I just watch the timer. It counts it down by the minutes. It'll start at 1, and then I just wait and watch till it gets to 15, and then I just turn it off, take the lid off, like I said, and put them in the ice bath. So you can see it counting down the minutes. Well, we're nearly to the end of this video, everybody. And I just want to thank everyone who clicked on the video and watched it to the end. Thank you so much. And I would like to welcome and thank um, all the new subscribers to my channel as well. Everybody have a blessed day. I love you. Bye. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to my channel.